Operations Project Last year, our team com completed construction, commissioned, and began the full operation of this facility. We are here now to officially dedicate it, a new structure that replaced an old, antiquated facility that did not meet current fish passage criteria. Hopefully, these efforts will increase the likelihood of spring Chinook recovery for Fall Creek and for the Willamette Valley as a whole. This dam, like all the Willamette Valley Project dams, changed conditions that affected both Spring Chinook and Winter Steelhead. This facility, like others the Corps built on the South Sandy Am, South Fork of the Mackenzie, and North Sandy Am rivers, now provide it for safe collection and transportation of adult anadromous fish back to historic habitats. We have a complex and, and challenging mission we're tasked with providing for multiple, usually competing benefits. Our mission and presence involve tremendous trade-offs at great cost, but for great gain. The constructed environment, this constructed environment, and the development downstream is in tension with the natural environment. What you see before you, this facility here, is a great accomplishment, making the valley a better, more balanced, and more sustainable system. This was a very successful project. It didn't happen by accident. I want to thank all of you for being here, for understanding the dynamic tension in our mission, for recognizing the value of this improvement to Fall Creek, for the people who have contributed to the placement of this great facility here, and to those who operate and maintain it now and well into the future. Our work at the Watershed Council is affected by the action of the Corps and others. Our work wouldn't be able to address species recovery without the simultaneous work and efforts of the Corps to address fish passage or the Confederated Tribes of Grand Run actively relocating, translocating Pacific lamprey to restore the runs here at Fall Creek. I see fish passage in Army Corps dams in the Willamette as a wicked problem. What are wicked problems? They're difficult to define, they have tangled root causes, they're constantly evolving, they have no obvious answers and sometimes conflicting measures of success. And most importantly, I think, for this, this case is that they involve stakeholders with diverse values, interests, and positions. These complex problems, problems like endangered species recovery, must be addressed by multiple parties because there are multiple causes of species decline. Spawning habitat cut off due to dams, 
lack of in-stream habitat due to development and simplification, loss of floodplains, changing ocean conditions, and warming of rivers due to climate change. Pollutants like plastics and other chemicals in the water. These are all human-caused problems that will require innovative human solutions. 